So we're gonna find ourselves a nice spot on the floor where we're gonna get onto all fours. We're gonna reach out so that our hands are underneath our chest and our knees are underneath our hips. Then we're gonna go ahead and curl our toes back like we have genie shoes on. And then we're going to slowly pull our butt back towards our heels, not going to pain, only going to discomfort. And then we're gonna rock forward onto our wrist and hands again. And then we're gonna point our feet away like we got uh, ballerina shoes on. So we got ballerina shoes, we got genie shoes. And we're just gonna rock back and forth and alternate between these. Going forward onto our hands and wrists and then getting those genie shoes on as our butt goes back. Going forward on the hands and wrists and getting those ballerina shoes on. Go back. Only discomfort, not to pain. Let's go ahead and curl those toes back again. Let's get those genie shoes on. One more time with those ballerina shoes. All the little pops, cracks, totally normally, totally healthy. So long as you're not forcing them, just allowing those pops and cracks to happen. Now the knees are gonna come off the ground. We're gonna bring that butt up in the air. And we're just gonna go back and forth a few times. We're gonna lift the heels as the butt goes down. And then we're gonna drive the heels down as the butt goes up into down dog. And just nice and slow, nice and controlled. Feel the ground being squeezed in between your upper and lower body and left and right side while we're here. That's gonna be part of the goal. Squeeze that earth. A couple more times. Now with that butt up in down dog position, we're gonna slowly reach up with that left like we're reaching up towards a rope above us and then up with the right. Breathing out through any little tough spot. We might find any little pop, any little crack, never forcing those tough spots to happen. Just letting them little by little. Now let's alternate, let's do, I don't know, maybe one more time on each side, reaching up with that left, planting that back down nice and secure, reach up with that right, let's plant that right down back secure, oh, nope, nope, I guess we're doing another one on each side, uh, I was wrong about that, fantastic, now we're going to bring the knees down towards the floor, but keep them off the floor, and we're going to bring the knees as far apart as they can, and we're going to pinch them in together, Remember, we're going to keep squeezing that ground. Squeeze your feet in towards each other as your knees go as close together as you can and as far apart as possible. Kind of like a frog that's got to pee. Pinch it in, then spread those legs open. There it is. All right. Now we're going to go back up into down dog. We're going to reach up with that left, and we're going to rotate off to the left side, going the bottom of the left foot on the outside of the right, and eventually until we get into a cross-legged position, and we rotate back the same way we came. Now from down dog, we're gonna reach up with that right, rotate off to the right into our cross-legged position as we turned away. Drive into that ground, the outside edges of your feet, rotate back towards your down dog, and we're just gonna alternate a couple more times. Act like you're holding on to an imaginary rope above as you rotate your body in between those shoulders. Reach up with that right, pivot off to that right, slow and controlled, owning the movement, and listening to your body that whole time. Good, now slowly bring those knees down. Let's put those ballerina shoes back on, set our butt between our heels, and enjoy the day.